Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a, another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the easiest and quickest and best way to get and install and download the Pixelmon mod. Now, I know that I've done this a couple times in the past, but this is a completely different method. It is using the Technic Launcher. Now, this method isn't just amazing for the Pixelmon mod itself, but it's amazing for really any mod in the entire world. It's super, super simple. It's just a launcher that you can click on whatever mod you want, and then you can go and play it. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that with the Pixelmon one. But before I get into this, I just want to say that my buddy Wispin actually just made this exact video like yesterday and I've been planning to make this video for a while so I still went ahead and made it. But if there's anything that I miss, if there's anything that you're confused about, be sure to go ahead and watch his video. It's going to be linked down in the description because he probably will explain it better than me. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. So this job link will be in the description. You might not need it. I will let you know if you need it in the future though. We'll come back to it. Anyway, this website right here, the technicpack.net slash download is what you're gonna need to go to. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see that there are three downloads for it. There's one for Windows, one for Mac, and one for Linux. I'm assuming that the majority of you guys are on Mac, uh, probably none are really on Linux, and a couple, a nice little hand few on Mac. Now before you can download it, I'm pretty sure that you need to create an account. You can see I'm, I'm already uh, signed in as actual Cyrus because Cyrid was taken, Cyrid01 was taken, Cyrid69 was taken, Cyrid420 was taken, uh, Cyrid spelled weird was taken, everything was taken. So then I had to make it actual Cyrid so that people believed that it was me. But anyway, after you do create an account, it's, I mean, it's really simple. You just click register, just like any other website in the world. I'm not going to show you how to register. Um, then you sign into your account, which again, I'm not going to show you how to do. It's super simple. <laughs> Uh, all you got to do is click on whichever download you want. For me, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows. Then after you do that, you will be greeted with either keep or discard. Obviously, you want to keep it, and then uh, you, then it goes to this thing. You're not going to have the 2.exe here. The reason I do is because it's the third time that I'm downloading this because I'm a big fat goof. And I, I, well, I failed making this video twice. So this is the third time I'm doing it. But after you do that, you want to click on the Technic Launcher for you guys. Okay. It's, it's probably not going to pop up like this. This is the actual Technic l Launcher itself. For you guys, it'll probably ask to install. All you got to do is click next, click next and install, or depending on whatever it asks you to do, just click on next. I promise you, you're, you're good to go. But after you do go ahead and install the program, if it doesn't run right away, all you got to do is go to your search bar or find it in your downloads or however you find your programs and just type in Technic and then boom, you'll see the Technic launcher pops up. Boom, you click it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so when you're in the Technic Launcher, you'll want to log in with your Minecraft information. Not necessarily what you used for the actual Technic website. For this, you'll want to log in with whatever account is linked to your Minecraft account. So for me, it says the Siren because that's my in-game name. It's got my skin here, so obviously that is me. And now the second thing that you'll want to do is go to your launcher options, go to Java settings, and make sure that you have this 64-bit installed. Now, if you don't have the 64-bit, which is what I was talking about earlier with the Java, you'll want to go ahead and download that Java version. So if you go to the website, uh, again, this is going to be linked in the description, of course. You're going to want to go down to the Windows Offline 64-bit. Make sure you just, you just click it, and then boom, it's going to pop up here. You click on this. And then I don't know if it's going to make me run it again or s I don't know. A lot of people might not even need to do this. So this might be irrelevant for the majority of people. Anyway, after you run it, it's going to pop up with like install and stuff. And it might even ask you to replace your current version. Hit yes. You do want to replace it. Yeah. See, right now it's asking me if I want to install it and replace what I currently have. I would click on install, but I already did it. So I'm just going to hit on the X button. Also, if you do that, make sure you actually have a 64-bit computer. I'm pretty sure like 99.9% .9 of computers are now 64-bit. So if you don't, then you I don't think that you can run Pixelmon. But anyway, after you get that, you want to make sure that you set your gigabytes to something more than one. By default, it's going to be at one. I think the mod pack itself requires you to be at least at 1.5 or 2. The better computer you have, the more RAM you can dedicate to it. I, you know, if you don't have a very good computer, I'd recommend going with two gigabytes. If you have like uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, you could probably go up to three gigabytes or yeah, yeah, you should be able to do that. 16 gigabytes of RAM, you should probably go up to four. I'm at 32. There's no reason to go past four. Even three is plenty. I pr like three is plenty. You really don't need to go past three to be honest. But four, like if you have an overkill computer like me, might as well just give it that last one just in case. And there you go. After you set that up, you want to click on the X button. And then this is this is the finally the fun part. I mean, this whole this whole video so far has been super boring. So let's get to the fun part. What you're going to want to do now is go to the mod packs tab and then type in the search bar Apex Pixelmon. 
So this Pixelmon pack is really, really cool. It's really good for my server because it keeps all the texture packs updated. It keeps the mod itself updated. It uh, has a mini map. There's a bunch of really cool features with this mod pack. Uh, also, it has a couple of other servers on it, which uh, they're all really great servers. So I recommend checking them all out. But anyway, after you do click on the Apex Pixelmon Reforged mod pack, all you got to do is click on install and bada bing, bada boom, you will see that it starts to install there's really nothing else you got to do except for wait also side note i know that like it's so ugly and i told the people that i didn't make this mod pack but i'm like my servers in it and, and the people that made this i mean come like this is so ugly dude even the background it's so ugly and i recognize that so what i'm gonna do is, is make my own art for it and and apply it to this to make it a lot cooler instead of having it this ugly i'm really sorry for it being this ugly uh when you guys install it hopefully it won't be as ugly but it doesn't really matter the, the mod pack itself is still really dope anyway after it's installed all you literally all you gotta do is click on play and then bada bing bada boom baby it's it's gonna start launching now the first time it launches takes a little bit longer i believe than the next consecutive times Alrighty, and there you go minecraft is now loading up you can see all the pixelmon mods are loading here we got the four gigabytes of RAM, which is also 4,096 megabytes. Anyway, the first time that you do load up, as you can hear the music uh, come in, uh, all of your settings are going to be reset, unfortunately. If this is your first time loading with a Technic Pack, it's, I mean, you just got to reset all your settings. But after you reset your settings for one time, obviously it's going to save them for every other time that you log in. But now if you go to multiplayer, you will be greeted with four amazing servers, or maybe three, because I don't know what Pokepalooza is and there's no players online, so I... I I don't know what this is. But then, of course, we got the greatest Pokemon server of all time, Poke Smash. This is my server. I highly recommend. 10 out of 10. This is what we're going to be joining in a second here. But also, shout out to Happy Cloud and the Oblique server. Happy Cloud, Mickey Ray, I love you, baby. That's who runs it. And then Oblique, Hyro, love you too, you, you freaking sexy man. But also, if, if none of these three servers satisfy you, also, a giant shout out to Poke Central. That is a fantastically run server. And we'll just serve it in general. So go check that one out as well. Anyway, we're going to be joining the Pokey Smash server. It is, like I said, obviously the greatest server ever. It's my baby. It's my precious. This hub is garbage. I'm well aware. I'm sorry about that. Um, but we're, we're getting a new one pretty soon. So I, that's kind of a spoiler. So sorry to, you know, burst everyone's bubble and, and spoil things. But... We're getting a new one, so it, I know it's kind of ugly. But anyway, you just go up to Lucario or Eevee. Sorry, shout out to Eevee. Eevee was to the left, whichever server you prefer. Uh, they're very similar, though. Um, and then, yeah, here we are on the server. Check out my freaking amazing team. Here's my shiny Kyogre. I also have a shiny Ludicolo, shiny Swampert. I have a Blast of Falon. I have a Cresselia, and I also have a Xerneas. So, like, my team's amazing, and I got more cool Pokemon in my party. But anyway, on the server, we do, like, daily events, tournaments, a bunch of really cool stuff. Staff is amazing. Everyone's amazing. It's a great, great community in general. Also, here's the mini-map in the top left. You see it there. It's really cool. You can change it and put it in the top right if you want, or zoom in or zoom out, and there's a lot of stuff you can do. But yeah, that's just about it. There there you go. That's that's pretty amazing, right? That was the easiest way to get Pixelmon and really any mod in general ever. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did find it helpful, be sure to slap a like. If you did not find it helpful, comment down below what you're struggling with. And if I or no one else does help you, be sure to go ahead and watch Wispin's video on this tutorial as well because he probably explained it better than i did but that is going to be it thank you all so much for hanging out i do appreciate it and i will uh I'll, I'll catch you all in the next one see you guys